The Precinct is an upcoming noir 80s action game developed by Fallen Tree Games and published by Quali Games. It's targeting a release date of Q4 2024, so soon, and will be released for PS5, Xbox Series, and PC. This one is going to be a bit challenging because I really, really, really wanted to love this demo, but I wound up with some very mixed feelings about it. I'm going to start with what I felt were the positives first. In the precinct, you play as Officer Nick Cordell Jr., a rookie cop who's tasked with defending Averno citizens from the criminal underworld while also working to solve the mystery of your father's murder in the line of duty. The demo starts with a long aerial shot of Averno City set to moody synthesizer and a saxophone combination, and it's gorgeous. It really feels like a lived-in city. It's very detailed, beautifully lit, streetlights reflecting in puddles, good amount of foot and car traffic, neon signs, the works. I just, I loved it. While we're treated to this view, a narrator talks about life in the city and touches on the heightened danger that exists for police, who are regularly targeted by the city's many criminals. I was, at this point, expecting to see a lot of random crime going on during the overhead view, like carjackings, muggings, graffiti. It would have matched the tone of that narration, but we'll talk more about tonal mismatch later. The gameplay itself was very enjoyable. I've seen many comparisons to GTA, and I think they're appropriate. As far as vehicles go, you only ever get to drive a police car, and you definitely feel the weight of it, making the comparison to GTA skew more towards GTA 4 than GTA 5, probably. During chases, either in car, helicopter, or on foot, you have the ability to call in various forms of backup, depending on how well you're conducting your pursuit. Backups can take the form of additional cruisers, though I found sometimes they were just getting in my way, spike strips, aerial support, and more. Combat definitely could have benefited from being able to lock onto your target, especially with the hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Try as I might, but I kept beating the crap out of my aging partner with a nightstick, which I imagine would have just given him more stuff to complain about. There really wasn't a lot of gameplay to sink my teeth into with this demo, and it does end somewhat abruptly. It features one bank robbery shootout and subsequent car chase, writing up some tickets and chasing vandals, and a helicopter pursuit. None of which took terribly long, which gives me concerns about the game's overall length, as well as some pacing issues which may come up. In between all the gameplay though, there's the story and the characters, which is where the game started to lose me, honestly. The intro scene gave me what I thought was an idea of what the tone of the game might be. I was expecting to see a group of hardened police officers that were jaded and quiet, kept to themselves, just beaten down, not wanting to meet new young cops because they didn't want to get attached. You know, cops on the edge. But instead, what I got was what I can only describe as what felt like sitcom-like line delivery. It was very jarring, and I had no idea what happened. I want to introduce you to our newest tender lamb fresh out of the academy. Bah! Where's Bo Peep when you need her? Yeah, I could tell you where she was last night. All the characters seemed to be too happy and upbeat for the world they were living in. Didn't match with the tone set by the introduction at all. And I, I just found it frustrating because the tone that was initially set was the one that I wanted. I also had an issue with the writing mainly the use of dialogue to deliver exposition. I am not a fan of storytelling that spoon feeds me and has such low expectations of its audience. Here's an example of what I'm talking about delivered by Chief Jackson, or as you might call him, Captain Obvious. Kowalski, if I may, I don't have to tell anyone in here about the late Chief Cordell, his stellar record, the respect you had for him, <sighs> his untimely death. I especially don't have to tell Recruit Officer Cordell. But I bet you're gonna. With it every day of the last five years. Yep. But there is one thing I do want to remind you of. On top of that, most of the dialogue is delivered in such a way that it prevents you from doing anything else outside of skipping it, potentially leading you to either missing critical mission information or fleshing out the story. Again, these were just frustrating choices. Some of the dialogue with your partner, Sergeant Kelly, is delivered during gameplay like a walk and talk, which is honestly a nice change. In fact, Sergeant Kelly is probably the most likable character that you meet. I just wish that said more. As far as the system specs for PC, it's going to require something a little bit more modern, with the graphics card recommendation being either a GeForce 3060 or a Radeon 6600 XT. So in the end, as much as I enjoyed the little gameplay that I got to experience, I do have some major concerns for the storytelling that I just can't overlook. I know this is a demo and that a lot of things can change with the finished product, so I will keep an eye out for the reviews of it and do my best to keep an open mind. 
Have you played the Precinct demo? If so, what did you think? As always, feel free to comment below with any thoughts, comments, or suggestions you might have, or if you just want to let me know about a demo I should check out. But that's it for me for now. Go out there and play some fun-ass games. I'll see you next time. Thank you.